Hi there and welcome to another Sonic Academy video with me, Phil Johnston. In this one we're going to be taking a look at using the Euphonics MC Transport with ScreenFlow and how you can set it up to use the jog and zoom um, using the MC Transport's wheel. So, when you load your you you control settings up, you've got um, three different areas where you can sort of set up um, commands. We've got our number pad, and we can s assign any sort of key commands to there. We've got our soft keys, and this um, the soft keys assign what um, function the jog wheel has, so what it's going to be controlling. And then we've got our wheel itself, which controls the sort of assignable key keys around here. And it also assigns um, different commands to the jog wheel. So what we're going to do is set up a custom command for the jog wheel for both um, jogging and um, zooming. In ScreenFlow, um, by using the arrow keys on the keyboard, you can sort of scroll through the track and if you hold down shift it sort of scrolls in bigger increments and what we can do is use this function to assign that to our jog wheel so what we're going to do is double click on our on our wheel and we're going to create a new command and we're going to call this screenflow custom jog and click OK. And now what we can do is assign different commands to the right and the left of the turn of the jog wheel. So we'll start with right. And we're going to add a key command. And the key command is the right arrow. And for the left turn, we're going to add the left arrow. And then what we need to do is assign these to one of our soft keys. So what we're going to do is jog right, add a wheel command. And then we can select from our custom wheel command that we just made, the custom jog. Now if we go into screen flow, we can use the jog wheel to um, jog through our track. And if you hold down the shift you can get a sort of a bigger, quicker jog. And we can do something similar with the zoom. Um, in ScreenFlow, if you hit the plus and minus buttons on the keypad, you can zoom in. And again, by holding down the shift, you get um, bigger increments of zoom. So again, we're going to go into our wheel, double click, and we're going to create a new command called ScreenFlow Custom Zoom. And then we're going to assign it again. So we're going for our right, we're going to add a key command, which is the plus on our keypad. And for the left turn, we're going to add another key which is the minus on our keypad. And then what we're going to do in our soft keys is assign that custom command to the wheel. So now in ScreenFlow, we can go from jog to zoom. And it all works really well. One of the really cool things that you can do with um, with ScreenFlow or with the MC Transport is sort of um, make sort of small macros. So what we're going to do is one of the things that I find I'm doing a lot is selecting everything and then splitting the clip. So what we're going to do is assign those two functions to one key on the on the control surface. So I'm going I've got select all and split already selected there, but what I'm going to do is 
make one called select all and split. And at the minute what we've got is a key command for just select all. So I'm going to delete that, add a new key command. And the first thing is command A for our select all. And then I'm going to add another key after it. And this time we're going to go split clip, which is shift command T. So shift command T. And now what will happen, um, this key command, we'll call this select split. So now what should happen is when we are anywhere on the timeline, we just hit our key and it selects all and then splits. And it just makes e editing really, really quick. You know, we can have our, on our jog wheel. We can be going through and then just splitting anywhere. So there you go. There's the uh, MC Transport and how to use it with ScreenFlow. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.